What's up YouTube? It's your boy McGavin coming back at you with yet another tips, tricks, and tuning tutorial video. Today we are on something new. We are on MX Bikes. And I am so excited to say that we are back. It has been a long year and a half. For those of you that have stuck with the channel and the community via Discord and checking out the videos and random little comments and get you through messages and stuff, I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I promise I'm going to make up the time to you guys. I promise. We're going to have some bangers. Uh, we're going to have some new uh, games, some new equipment. I've got a wheel, some pedals. We're going to have more Car X stuff, more tunes, tunes for the MX bikes. As well as, we're also racing some series and uh, doing some big things in World of Outlaws, which is in conglomerates with iRacing for the Xbox. And it is a very realistic simulator, for a console anyway. Um, and, it, and it's really fun. And I think you guys are going to enjoy the content from it, as well as the group of guys that I have developed over there. Bringing them into the CarX community and into that world because they're on Xbox. And a lot of you guys from the CarX community are still on Xbox, as well as PC. Um, so yeah, look forward to all the things that are coming, but today what I have for you is a tune for the KX450. Uh, for those of you that play the game, know that it has basically become a Yamaha and Honda simulator via the Yamaha 450 and the Honda 250, and, it, and it's just a sea of red and blue. Um, they are the fast bikes. The new OEM creators, or the OEM creators for the new bikes are working on that as far as leveling the playing field and making them all seem pretty close. Um, but there's some big differences when it comes to those two bikes in particular. Um, and so I have gr grown up on green. I've always rode green. I was uh, born with Kawasaki's disease. It's a very rare heart disease. Um, if you don't know what it is, look it up. Long story. But the running joke has always been that I've got to stay on green. It's in my blood, literally. Kawasaki's, whatever. Um, but anyhow... <laughs> Uh, I wanted to make the Kawasaki fast, man. I wanted to ride it and not just wish I was riding a Yamaha because I would be faster on the Yamaha and, and know how much better I could have taken that section if I was just on the Yamaha. And so I've done it. Um, I have looked and looked. I've not come up with anything good. So I decided to just kind of start my own thing, do my own tunes. Uh, I do it in all the other games and I have a very solid understanding of how things work in this game. Um, while it is definitely the hardest thing I've ever played, it is very realistic when it comes to the tuning things, uh, low speed physics and stuff. We won't talk about those. For those of you that are new to the game, you'll figure it out. For those of you that play, you already know. Um, but the tuning is pretty good, um, and so I have a good basic understanding of how everything works, and I have developed a setup for the 450 that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So check it out. So, I run three liters of fuel. Um, that does matter. I run three. You can run what you want. If you want it heavier, just add fuel, lighter, take fuel out. Don't run out of gas. Um, the tires, I run the standard Caboso mid-soft front with a mid-soft 120 uh, rear. Um, the front pressure is 90. The rear pressure is 1.0. Front leverage, 20 millimeters. Rear disc is 250. I'll go ahead and throw up the default so you can see the difference. Things that I changed. This is default in red. Mine is in black. Anything that doesn't show up is obviously stock. Suspension, huge changes. Uh, spring rate, 4.8 newton meters. Bump, 15 clicks. Rebound, 9 clicks. Preload, 5 millimeters. Oil is 90 millimeters in the front. Rear suspension, spring is 50 newton meters. Slow bump, 15 clicks. Fast bump, 3 and 3 quarter turns. A rebound of 9 clicks and a preload of 5 millimeters. Drive terrain, I'm running a 1351. I like the gearing the way that it is. If you run a 1350, it does stretch them out a little bit. 1350 is stock. Uh, I like the punch more than, because I changed the mapping and you're gonna see that. And I think you're gonna like this gearing better than this gearing with that change. But here's the big changes. On the fork offset, we're running 20 millimeters, a fork height of two millimeters, a swing arm length of eight, rod length of 133 and 20-20 mapping. This is huge. This right here makes the power, makes the trigger, feel just like the Yamaha coming out of corners and not having to fight it from standing up and that instant snap of power that the Kawasaki and the Suzuki have um, in that certain range. For those of you that have ridden, ridden the bike, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This eliminates that. It's freaking amazing. 
Um, I suck at the game. Again, I've got 400 hours. I'm just now making it around most tracks with minimal mistakes and doing the harder pro tracks and stuff like that. When it comes to Supercross, yeah, I can set a heater lap, but I can't do it twice. Um, <laughs> once every 10 laps, maybe. Uh, so we're getting there, but for 400 hours, not bad. However, this has been tried and tested by several really fast people in the community. The only negative comment that I got is that it is a little twitchy in the front end. It does turn great, but it is a little twitchy. And that twitchiness will go away. If you change this fork height and make it higher, it will it will take that twitchiness away, but it comes with a cost. It will turn like a tank. The farther you take this up, the shittier it's going to turn. So take that into consideration. I'm going to put down some okay laps so you can just see how the bike works. Uh, but check it out. You're going to love it. All right. All right, let's try one more time. There we go. A little bit better. Gosh, I couldn't get my first lap. Sorry for the edit. Jeez. That's gonna do it for me for today i will be back with more tunes i will work on all of my tunes and continue to, to take all the responses so if there's a bike that you want that you want to see first rather than something else something new um let me know otherwise i'm just gonna kind of work my way down the list um expect them to get better as i get better obviously uh but i do have enough time in the game where i can at least tell if something's gonna work or not so at least give it a shot guys if you like the tune if you're using it if you like the content uh, welcome to the channel, guys. Just like, subscribe, do all the things they ask you to do on YouTube, and I will see you on the next one. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.